In today's video, we're opening a 17-year-old Yu-Gi-Oh! tin. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. In this video, Alec S purchased something from me and we're gonna be opening it up today. But before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three Albast Strike Structured X so you can almost basically play branded if you guys win this just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what you liked about this video and what you want to see in the future this video is sponsored by pokerox pokerox is my pokemon channel where we do nuzlocks pokemon runs and other pokemon challenges i don't post there every day like i do on the Yu-Gi-Oh channel but when i do i try to make it a really awesome video and recently i've been doing full runs and single videos so they're pretty long and enjoyable so if you like to sit back with the popcorn <laughs> this might be for you and if you enjoy pokemon challenges i just completed a pokemon Crystal nuzlocke with only poison type pokemon and if you guys happen to see my pokemon silver version where i did only flying types you'll definitely like this video as well so if you are a pokemon fan don't forget to go check out pokerux i will have it linked down below go give it a shot maybe you'll like it if you don't like it that's okay you don't have to subscribe or anything but just go give it a shot and see if you are interested in other content from me i would really appreciate it let's get back to the video all right here we have the pro wait there's no product here oh we better grab it oh I have just revealed that the background is not fake. It is real items. Alec has purchased this Elemental Hero Neos 10 for me. I posted to my members a few tents that I had for sale and asked if anybody wanted to do a video opening. And Alec has said, yes, I want to grab this thing and I want you to open it up. So I'm super excited for that. I asked if there was anything he wanted me to say and he said, just pull something good. He didn't actually ask me to say just pull something good, but I... You know, he said that, so there we go. But we're not just gonna be opening that up today. We also have a couple of tins to go with it. We have a 2021 tin, not the craziest tin ever, but we also have a 2022 tin, which is not labeled. So we have 2021 and 2022. You can tell by the back, it says, you know, 2022, not that crazy. So a couple of tins I will be opening up alongside Alex, Elemental Hero Neo tin. Hopefully he gets a minty promo. Let's hop into it and start opening. I'm gonna crack open these two and then we'll get into the Neo tin later. All right, we have grabbed our three packs out of each, so only six total packs, but they are mega packs. So they're pretty large, a lot of, uh, you know, foils and cards inside. And we have Alex 10. If you guys are interested in potentially having a 10 open for you, I have a few other ones available, such as a couple more in the background. I have a Cyber Dragon 10, I have a Raviel 10, I have some 2004 10s available. So if you're interested in that, hit me up on Instagram or through email. Let's go. We can do a video just like this, and it would be pretty epic. Hopefully today has some pretty amazing pulls. So I'm going to start off with the 2021 10, probably the lowest value or least interesting of these that we have before us but oh fusion deployment that is a prismatic secret i forgot that comes right off the supers in this one i think in 2022 they fixed that titanic lab very good ultra rare we'll take that and then raider's wing i think it's all commons after this okay light dragon at ignis they're cool okay let's do a little 2022 10 of the feral gods Wait, because we were opening a 10 i had to open some of the most recent 10s and speaking of the new 10s do come out very soon and i have a discount code down below with sassy Auto. i don't remember what the exact name is but we have 10 percent off for a while by the time you see this it might be five percent off but go check it out they come out at the beginning of september so i'm super hyped they're gonna have 25th anniversary rares they're gonna be super awesome it's gonna be a fun time two uh prismatic secrets per pack as well so that's gonna be pretty awesome psyche eraser laser and it's an affiliate link if you guys do use that uh ice jade tremora cool we have masquerade the blazing dragon the alivane the essence of vanity we have the dark eye nightmare <laughs> the bottom prosperity baby let's go that's the best card in the tin first pack of 2022 i got a little confused there because i switched to 2022 and i was like wait did i skip the secret rare and then i was like oh wait this is 2022 and then i pulled this and i yeah craziness just ensued that's the best card you can pull maybe that's a good sign for alex neos 10 okay let's crack this bad boy open it's neos 10 time before we do let's take a one last look at it beautiful the window is so cool secret rares there's six different ones you know all variant cards not two variant because you know what they are. First launch had Elemental Hero Neo, Cyber Dragon, and Raviel. Look, I have those other two available, so if you're interested. Uh, then we have the second launch. Oh, no, it doesn't tell the second launch. It just tells which packs there are. Yeah, two CRV packs, Elemental Energy, Shadow Infinity, Enemy of Justice. Two CRV, much better in uh, Wave 1. I think Wave 2 has just like one CRV, and they might have thrown in like, what is it, Cyber Dark Impact or something lame? Yeah, I mean, it's a cool set, but not in hobby. It's kind of iffy. Okay, let's open this thing up. Here we go. 
It's not damaged to 10 because it is a pretty cool item, even when opened. Let's open this thing up. Neos, one of my favorite tins. I think it looks amazing. I'm a big green fan, so the green on it is really nice. The secret rare Neos looks incredible, so hopefully this thing's gradable for him. Even if he doesn't grade it, you still want it to be gradable, right? All right, let's go. Elemental Hero Neos at the top, very awesome. And Elemental Hero Neos at the bottom as well. Let's go. All right, centering looks pretty good from what I can tell. Let's get these out of the way real quick. Let's get this out very carefully. All right, there we go. That took a little little struggle there, but I love that they put in the plastic so it doesn't rub the back like crazy like in 2002. Look at that secret rare. That looks insane. Back, ooh, pretty minty on this card. It's a little warped as you can see. I think it's just warped. Yeah, it's just a little warped. Books can help, but it's really not that bad. It's a little warped as you guys can see. First it looked bent, I was like, oh no, but it looks like the centering's pretty good. The surface is pretty good. A little print line I saw on the back. That's about it. That's a really nice Neos. Okay, let's uh, get everything else out. We have the pocket guide. All right, if you need to guide your pockets, there you go. And then we have five packs. Is there? There's nothing at the bottom here. Yeah, and I think it's Zexel. They started putting those sleeves in there. Uh, not in this one. We have Tag Force coming soon. <laughs> Look at this. Coming fall 2006. That's insane. Coming in 17 years ago. All right, so inside, as we saw, we have the... Uh, man double cybernetic revolution very cool stuff that that promo looks amazing i'm gonna get it out of the way so i don't accidentally like hit something on it or something all right let's do one of the crv because there are two of them let's see if we can pull that cyber and dragon i mean cyber dragon would be cool as well there's a lot of other great cards but cyber and dragon ultra i'm not sure i've never actually pulled like a hobby ulti out of a 10 i don't know if you can uh but either way there's some really good retail ones as well so if we could pull like bubble man that'd be pretty amazing one two three four that would that would be more than amazing that would be an insane pull dragon's mirror let's go we have the jerry beans man oh one of the greatest cards of all time jerry a bean soldier believes he is the strongest warrior in the world but his true abilities are still untested let's go that's a ruxin special right after that we have ebon untested his abilities drillroid the poison draw frog he'll lick your cards watch out psychroid he would not be allowed uh during covid especially uh we have the gyroid very nice we have a protective soul alien and finally we have transcendent wings also a very cool ultimate rare if you can get it it's very very beautiful okay nothing in that one that's okay let's go back to 2021 take a little little detour back to the present well it's still a couple years old but more present i should say squeak knight deep sea we have torpedo penguin brave arc Knight, arc jet lightcraft i said arc knight where'd that come from titan cider okay here comes the secret Ooh, sky striker ace rose i think that's a dollar that's not bad we have an ultra rare a rested all windy a guy of the fierce knight okay so uh okay little b b trooper action very very cool all right one more 2022 will this have the pot of prosperity inside could you imagine if it was back to back in the same tin that'd be pretty insane we have guitar gnards i would like to pull a red eyes dragoon that'd be pretty cool scale bomber psychic eraser laser flounderies that's a ruxin special judge of the ice barrier we have sun avalon daphne from uh scooby-doo ghost reaper and winter share is not bad either the true sun god Brother of Acclamation, and we have a... Oh, it was a spell card. Small World, not a bad card either. We'll take it. I feel like I'm doing pretty good out of these tins in this video. And speaking of, let's do something crazy for Alec. We have Enemy of Justice. Can we pull something nice? We have one, two, three, four. Let's get an ultimate rare. What was it? Shining Phoenix Enforcer? Never got him. Cyber Gymnast. Necroid Shaman. That's already an elemental hero. Good start. E emergency call will we pull the clock tower prison battery man d the storming wind the wind is storming asa avalanching we have the o oversoul oh and a macro cosmos i thought it was a foil for a second that's just a common in this set that's still a good card though it does have it doesn't have a recent reprint if it doesn't this could be a couple bucks and finally will this be a foil come on foil and macro cosmos let's do it Oh, Miraculous Descent. I thought it was something for some reason. Okay, Miraculous Descent. Okay, we got a good card at least, but it is not like a crazy card. So we're just going to have to keep hoping. Oh, we're going to save Shadow Infinity because you know what we're searching for there. Elemental Energy. Speaking of Shining, the Shining Flare Wingman. Can we pull it? I don't think I've ever pulled a Shining Flare Wingman, even an Ultra Rare. So that would be pretty awesome. Unless you count opening the tin. I think I opened the tin at one point. So I did pull that out of there. One, two, three, four. Come on, Elemental Energy. We have Nano Breaker, Breaking Nano. We have Feather Wind, the League of Uniform Nomenclature, V-Tiger Jet, Weed Out. We have Infernal Incinerator. 
We have the Oja Magic and their magic show. Is it next? Dark Deal. No, it is not. It is the Dark Deal. And finally, we have... Genodian Soldier. Chaz! Why are you showing up, Chaz? Nobody likes your cards. All right, two more 10 packs, and then we will finish with CRV and Shadow of Infinity. There's a couple of cards we need to pull out of there. But first, we'll pull Curse of Dragon. The Cursed Dragon. Not redundant at all. Mutually Assured Destruction. And by assured, I mean afford. Hide and Seek. We have Lingaribo. Pretty nice card. Super rare. We have the Arc Rebellion XC Dragon. And. Ooh, Ecclesia the Virtuous. Another nice one. We're doing pretty well right now. It's one of the best secrets in that set. Uh, it's not very expensive because it's not a great set. True Light for Blue Eyes. Very cool. Gizmec. And the Virtual World. Okay, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Overall, doing really crazy out of these 10 packs. I'm hoping the last two will do something crazy for Alec because it's been a little bit of a slow start. Ice Jade, not awesome. Fabled. Steel Star. Ice Jade again. Stop it. We have Gunkin. Supernatural Danger Zone. That's a Rux and Special. Laval Ball. We Rux and Special right into the Slower Swallow. Pretty weird. We have the Trap Tricks Kalaria. The War Rock Skyler. Shout out to the Farf Man. We have Nibiru. Dude, I'm crushing it right now. I'm getting so lucky. This is so good. And here we go. Oh, a droplet! Talk about an insane tin, dude! A prismatic droplet, a Nibiru, a pot of prosperity, a dogmatica Ecclesia of the Virtues. That was out of 2021, but still, overall, wow, this is crazy. These pulls are awesome. Can we please end it with something crazy here to at least get a foil? Let's make it a sacred beast. Come on. You know we've been searching for that for many years, guys. Let's go. Many, many years. I've known Mr. Krabs for many years. One, two, three, four. Let's pull something awesome. Success probability zero with Kazaki at the computer. DD Guide. It used to be a $2 common, by the way. Trial of the Princesses. Hero Kid. The Saber Beetle. A lightsaber on the beetle. Magnet Circle level two. We have Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. And finally, we have. Maybe that's not finally. Do we have another card? Okay, that felt like one card. I was like, ancient gear is a common. All right. One more card. Here we go. Oh, an ultimate rare goblin out of the flying pan. Frying pan. No flying. Fly, you fools. Okay. Hobbit reference. This is uh, not the flying pan. It's a frying pan, but it does have pot of greed on it. This also pot of greed. It has the guy from the good goblin housekeeping on it. Hanging out with whoever that dude is. I don't know if he's on another artwork. Not a crazy valuable one, but it is a really cool artwork. And it's an ultimate rare, which you are definitely not guaranteed. So that is a sick pull for Alec. That's awesome. Now, can we go back to back? Can we pull one out of the Cybernetic Revolution pack as well? All right, final pack. Will the flying pan br bless us? I was about to say bless us. That, is, that doesn't even make sense. Sounds wrong though. All right, here we go. Final pack, CRV for Alec. Ultimate rare. I'm very happy he got that. Can we get him a second one? Let's go. Bubble Man, please. Pot of Generosity. That would be so crazy. There's a, oh, another pot card. We have Steam Gyroid. Look, inscription. Sir. Soitsu. Okay. Giant Kazaki. Indomitable. Fighter. Lele. 2300 four star. Not bad. Tyranno Infinity. You guys know what I've done with this. Made a video about Duel Links one time. I think we have one more card. Spiritual Fire Art, Kudanai. And finally, last time, this feels like the last card too. Last time I thought it felt like the last card, it was an ultimate rare. Back to back ultis, here we go. Ah, oh, the DD Trap Ball. All right, no ulti. That would have been a cool ulti as well. All right, shout out to Alec for making this video possible. So make sure to let him know in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you guys want to have a tin open for yourself, I have a few more available. So hit me up on email or Instagram. Shout out to Toe and Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto, Deanna, America Deutscher, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Leah Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.